So today I'm gonna be showing off the lining Eric Ellington. Um, really excited about these skate shoes. They're uh, lining's first pro model skate shoe. Their second skate shoe they ever made. The other shoes basically like a fake dunk. Um. Really haven't seen anyone on YouTube talk about these yet. They're uh, they're awesome. I was looking for a new pair of basketball shoes, linings, and then I stumbled across these and come to find out linings making signature skate shoes now with the GOAT, Eric Ellington. And uh, I've seen a lot of people kind of dissing these because they're not a core brand shoe but honestly if you skate new balance numeric nike sb adidas and you're doing a dog lining for not being a core brand then you're tripping bro let's be real um core brand shoes kind of don't don't compete with the main uh shoe market anymore so it's kind of awesome to see lining put their hat in the ring in the skate shoe game and who better not to have eric ellington at the helm and eric is really a core skater he's really never sold out to any big company like that before until now but i wouldn't consider it selling out because these are just full of tech man they're probably the most comfortable skate shoe i've i've ever worn like these could easily be your daily chill shoe if you want them to be they got the um lining cloud foam which is basically like adidas boost but better i don't even think adidas has put um boost in a skate shoe which is really weird they haven't yet but like i'm i was saying ellington is basically a core skater and this is basically anything you'd want in a skate shoe i mean it kind of reminds me of a 90s skate shoe just slimmed down it's the only complaint I got about it is it's kind of stiff, but some people like that in a skate shoe and not really a lot of board feel, but I'm sure that's great for jumping down big gaps if you're that type of skater. Um, this traction's super great, man. Like, dude, your board's going with you. Like, you're not falling off your board. It's glued. I like how it's got this little... um this little heel thing it's basically kind of like um what they got in the tiago limo so uh, 10 tens locks down your foot great uh these rope shoelaces they kind of can't really tighten them but the shoe's so tight i recommend going a half size up or if you like to wear your shoes a little bit bigger like me it's uh, perfect it's got this uh, ballistic fiber on the toe cap, which I'm sure won't rip ever. Um, basically every other model besides this one and one other is made out of a, out of a, like a running shoe material, like a, um, can't think of the name right now, a mesh, a mesh material like this, but the whole shoe. And it's supposed to be like rip stop material, but this model is, um, just a classic suede classic suede skate shoe and nothing but good things to say about this shoe the only thing i i can say bad about it is it's really super expensive luckily i found these on sale online and really nowhere sells these online except like some really small skate shoe or skate shop websites that are local and it was really hard to find these online but um, I got them off a website called Sense with two S's. And uh, yeah, this model is only $65. $175 skate shoe, which is nuts when they're not on sale. But it's full of tech, so I kind of see why they went super pre 